What's up, everyone? That's right, Ask a Life Coach reigns again. Should I stay friends with my ex? Well, say what I always say, there are no shoulds. Uh, <laughs> and also, every situation is unique. So anybody who tries to set these black and white rules, you know, you should always be friends with your ex or you should never talk to your ex again. None of that is necessarily applicable to you as an individual. It depends on the relationship. It depends on why you broke up. It depends on, you know, whether or not you can do so in a healthy way. It depends on the expectations of both people involved. And, you know, depending on how all of that shakes down, then of course you can have a very healthy friendship with your ex. Chances are you, you connected really strongly at, at one point in time, at least you probably added value to each other's lives. And, um, just because a relationship, especially a monogamous romantic relationship doesn't, uh, you know, sort of work out in the sense that it, it lasts forever doesn't necessarily mean that we need to embrace this all or nothing mentality into our world. So there's a lot of people in the world that we can connect with that can meet some of our needs, but maybe not all of our needs. We don't have to look at that as a failure or something to run from. It's, it's possible that such a friendship will cause jealousy or tension in uh, current or future relationships. But again, those are just conversations for you to have with your partner. Your partner's insecurity is not necessarily your burden. You want to do what you can to be supportive and affirming and establish healthy communication. But you're never allowed to cut people out of your life uh, because somebody else is feeling jealous or insecure. That's their issue to work through as long as, again, you're being open up front and honest with everybody involved. So if there are relationships that add value to your life, then I absolutely encourage you to keep those relationships in whatever capacity, you know, they, they manifest. And if they're not adding value, if it's adding, you know, frustration or it's just bringing up hurt and old wounds, or again, there's sort of hidden motives or that kind of game going on then of course, maybe it's better just not to be friends with your ex. So those are some of the things that you might want to think about as you move forward. But I appreciate you to, as I always say, do what's best for you. Find peace, joy, happiness, love, et cetera, where you can. And I'm sure you're going to do just fine. So thank you for asking me this one. Thank you everyone for tuning in. And I'll see you back here next time.